Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from CG Blast the channel. So today I'm here with a brand new tutorial on how to animate a basic, a basic pendulum in Maya 2019. So we're, what we're going to be animating today is this pendulum here uh, going from left screen to right and we're going to be animating the chain in a, you know, in a believable way, considering the force of gravity that we always need to take care of, you know, and try to give the illusion that there is gravity. But in this case, we also need to take care of uh, other kind of things. So um, there are two actual ways to um, uh, to animate a pendulum, uh, and one of the ways that we're going to be animating first, uh, I mean, the the actual way they we're going to uh, that we're going to see now in the first place is the most simple one uh, but then later on we can actually have another kind of process that it's a little bit more complicated but it's the one that I usually prefer when I need to um, animate certain things like a pendulum right now uh, so it's gonna be more manual so let's see the first um, in the first place let's see our pendulum and check out its controls so it's it has this um, base here uh, that is not connected to this one so to the root and then we have the chain you know controls on the chain so each each of them controls a part of the pendulum okay so the first thing that I want to do right now is actually animate the root so for this kind of animations, I like going directly into, you know, animate in auto mode. So because we're not going to do much. And so what I want to do is actually start from, you know, an auto mode. Uh, so when I put my keys are actually in auto and not in step mode, like I usually do when I am animating more complex uh, situations, more complex shot. So let's just um animate a little bit our pendulum so let's oh actually it says here that it's not we, we cannot um animate the base of the pendulum this is maybe because we need to go here and unlock selections no actually no we cannot do this so this is a uh, these keys are not uh a, Appliable, uh, so we actually need to animate this part of the pendulum up here. So let's select the the head. You know that's going to be dragging everything. We're going to put a key, and then let's move to frame 50. Okay, and bring the pendulum all the way to the right. Let's say let's say here. So what we have now is this basic pendulum moving okay so as we can see it's actually pretty slow but what I would like to do is having like um, a more drastic change so that maybe the pendulum is moving slow and then boom moves moves faster so what what I can do here actually is actually going into the um, the translate Z tangent into the graph editor, select it and go to right click weighted tangent. So what I want to do here is take this key and scale it on the right so that it has this kind of shape a little bit. Okay. And see a little bit how it is the animation. Yeah, so it's much, much better. But actually, I feel that I would like to see this even faster. So what I want to do is with the head control selected, I actually want to put not 50, but 30. So let's see how it is the feeling now. Whoa, that's a big change. It really snaps a lot. So I think I need to scale this down See how it is. Okay, now I like it. It's not bad at all. Okay. So this is 
not bad at all. So uh, yeah, the, the head is moving in a nice way. Maybe I can just slow it down a little bit, just a little bit more. Okay, so once I have this, um, let's say 25% of our animation is done. So what I want to do is actually go here and select now the first part of the chain and put um, a key on it. Okay, so now as I move my pendulum, I would like to keep the um, this chain a little bit tending to go on the left you know like if if it's like dragging you know so let's put this key on 12 not on 8 okay so that it gives the sense pretty nice actually as you can see a little bit the change starts to move too quickly towards uh, left if you can see a little bit it's a little detail so I want to actually put not 12 but this key I put it let's put it on 14 okay and then on let's go on 20 and bring the change more on the right uh, on the left okay Now on 24, let's bring it up more. Okay. And now let's, in, in, in this moment here at frame 30, we actually have the, the final pose where the actually pendulum stops. So let's go here, not at 30, but eventually on 40 and bring the um, the change all over to the right and see a little bit how it, it is okay so it's a little bit too slow so let's actually put it on 30 36 maybe okay it's not bad and then a few keys later let's bring it again on the left but not as high as this one because gravity is calling so let's put it here and see how it is okay and so now let's put this one up here so the gravity is calling right so as up as I'm putting this keys you can already see actually the sense of it right so it's it's moving not bad at all so let's just see a little bit how many keys are here one i mean one how many keys are uh, gaps of keys is in here so it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and then one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so it's the same but maybe we're gonna change um, and reduce this later, but let's just see now how it is. Okay, maybe let's keep it. And then we're gonna put this one here. And let's just, you know, we're starting to give less energy to the chain because gravity is actually calling. Like I said, okay, let's extend our animation a little bit more, let's say. Okay. Okay, so I'm putting so many informations here. And there we have it. So, if we play our animation now. 
All right, so it's not really bad. I mean, there are some things we need to actually fix. And we can go into the graph editor and try to, you know, see what actually we can change. So actually, here I, th I, th I think that we will need a little bit more keys. We need to add a little bit of more time. So let's just add just a few keys here and there. So here, I think a couple of keys more. Yeah, I think we need to actually add more keys. I mean, I'm more timing in the keys. Just to make a gradual. Okay. Okay, so it's not perfect, but you know, to give the sense of the tutorial, uh, I think it's pretty good. So, okay, so at, at this point, uh, I can tell you that there are two ways to actually, actually approach this kind of shots. The most common way that I use is to now go down here and animate manually all the other keys. Okay, so uh, animating them uh, by hand and then going in the graph editor and do some tweakings. But one of the common ways that you can use actually is to take these keys, um, copy them and pasting them down here. Okay, so these, this other joint, the second join, joint. But if, if we do this, what's gonna happen is that these keys are going to move in the sax in the same exact time and we don't want this we want to put a little bit of delay to it okay so because we're actually doing this kind of breaking of joints so maybe one of the things that i could do is go to the second key here you know and start dragging on the right putting a little bit of delay of let's say two or three frames. Okay, let's also, you know what, maybe a little bit more. Say one, two, three, four. Okay, let's put this on 40. Okay, you can already feel a little bit that the the first chain, the first part of the chain is moving earlier and then the other part of the of the chain reaches out later um, so that it's moving later because we added this delay, right? So what we can do now is do the same thing take this selection here take the keys, copy them, and paste them down here to the other chain, and now put other four frames of delay to this one. One, two, three, four. And now if we play the animation, we can actually see that there is this breaking of joint, right? So this is one of the common ways that we can actually animate the pendulum. Uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, but what I want to like to do now is just to go here and uh, do some tweakings, like you know, not putting the same amount of uh, values here. So maybe going here and uh, scaling it down a little bit. Right, and maybe just here, push it up a little bit. And maybe we can also try to, you know, take some keys and, and move them a little bit and try to experiment. But it's not something I would like to do now just to not mess up the animation. Okay, and the same thing, we can, we can go throughout all the keys 
and try to experiment and see if I move something more up or more down and what, what's going to happen. And we can do the same thing for this other one. Okay, so basically what I would like to actually do is that um, for the kind of speed that uh, the pendulum has, I just want to not push the upper chain so so on the right when the actually pendulum stops. Okay, so let's see a little bit. Yeah, it's it's not bad. So actually, it's working pretty well at the moment. Let's just activate. Okay, so it's not bad at all. So as I said, it's a, a simple way to animate a pendulum. One of the ways that we actually can animate this, as I was saying at the beginning, was to go and then animate manually the chains. So this is the way that I usually prefer just to not give this mathematical sense to it. So it's really, um, it, it, you can a little bit maybe feel that it's, um, that it's a little bit like copying and pasting things. You know, if you have a, an eye a little bit more trained uh, you can actually feel that uh, there. It, it, for certain things, it's really um, not symmetrical, but it's uh, really uh, there. There are those. There are those little details that actually are um, too much superb. You know, they are too perfect, and it, it usually, uh, you know, it, it, some sometimes if you make the animation a little bit more un unperfect it's a little bit more believable but I mean uh, we try to tend doing things in the best way possible so actually this animation is good but we could actually try go here and uh, delete the keys and animate the pendulum you know uh, by hand and creating you know certain little things uh, maybe little details that we don't have right now but it's it's the same, I mean, it's it's not complicated. So this is a basic pendulum, and uh, we can eventually, later on, have, have a test on how to ma animate a pendulum that is doing, a, you know, a moving a little bit more, you know, in, in a more complex path. On a, you know, we can create a, a path to this um, pendulum and uh, see how the chain could eventually react to it. So uh, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And um, so uh, again, as I usually say, um, if you have any questions, uh, just let me know, and um, we can, um, you know, try to uh, to find some animation tutorials uh, that we can eventually do, uh, and in order to help you out, um, to you know how to approach these little animations and try to learn also the more complex things that we're gonna eventually um, deal with in the near future so thanks again for watching uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, hope to see you on another video thanks again everyone take care bye